Hey everyone, welcome back to the Crazy Dreamer Network. My name is AJ and let's hop right into this reading. So today's reading is a pick a card on advice that can help you out right now, okay? Ad on advice that can help you out right now. We have three piles, pile number one, pile number two, and pile number three. Pile number one, we have the amethyst crystal ball. Pile number two, we have the Goldstone Star. And pile number three, we have the Rose Quartz Crystal Ball. So I'll give you all a minute just to meditate on the cards and to pick the one that's right for you. About 30 seconds. All right, my dreamy dreamers. Um, so again, pound number one, pound number two, and pound number three. I love you all so much, and I will see you in your readings. Bye. Hey, pound number ones. Welcome back to your reading. So you all either chose this amethyst crystal or just the pile selection card, okay? So let's just go in briefly with this amethyst crystal ball. So, you know, amethyst is a is a healing stone, right? It's a really good conduit for transmuting addictions, okay, and addictive energies, right? And for really healing us mind, body, and spirit, okay? I know a lot of people who, if they don't want to drink too much or, you know, anything, anything of that nature when it comes to kind of like cutting back, they keep an amethyst stone on them and I feel like it really helps, okay? So you all could be advised to cut back on something, right? Something that is no longer serving you, something that you may want to change because you are kind of transforming before your own eyes, okay? I feel like with this amethyst stone here, especially in regards to the pile selection is there's you I feel like pile number ones you all can sense a lot of change in the air and you are um on the course right now of like changing along with the external changes right it's almost like the things that I used to do, they literally no longer serve me. I literally can't do them anymore without them making me feel A, B, or C, without them, them making me feel bad, weighed down, or confused, right? So I'm getting like, you just want to transmute a lot of energy. And it's interesting, and I'll hop into the reading in a moment, but it's interesting because we have the Fool, the Will of Fortune, and the Tower card. So ultimately, you know, I feel like there's beautiful changes ahead, ahead of you, pile number one. Changes that you have asked for for so long, right? But I feel like something is still kind of getting in the way of you actually reveling in those changes, in the possibilities, in the opportunities that are coming in for you, right? So uh, we'll get into that in the reading, though. But let's reveal your pile selection card. And we have card number three, fertility. What did I say? Abundance. This is the Empress card. So pile number three is you could be experiencing a lot of beautiful changes, a lot of beautiful growth. But I feel like, especially in regards to picking the amethyst crystal, that you want to um, transform along with the changes that are happening in your external world. So for example, I just feel like let, let's say in work or in relationships, you are getting these beautiful opportunities, everything you ever wanted, right? Almost like manifestations are coming into play like immediately, right? And it's divine timing, but you kind of, you don't see, it's like you see the change within you because obviously you had to change to a certain degree in order for these manifestations to uh, come in. But it's like you want change where you want them so you could feel your best and most comfortable in receiving everything that you have been asking for, right? It's like you want to 
match the picture in your mind of who you were going to be when you asked for these things and when they were going to come, right? And maybe there's like a little delay there. So I feel like you want to change and you want to acquiesce with these changes because they're actually things that you've prayed for. They act, they're actually things that you've been wanting for some time now, okay? So again, let's begin with your reading. I'll do the Celtic cross uh, layout, um, starting with this card, ending with this card, okay? And then, um, yeah, so let's begin. So you all actually got an extra card, the Two of Wands here. So the Two of Wands is all about... Um, you know, being on the right track, you know, being, being on the right path. Okay. Planning, executing, okay. Planning to execute these plans that you have been, um, wanting for a while now. And it's interesting to me as well, pile number ones, because you all are very blessed. You all have a, a very blessed imagination as well. And I feel like you understand that you can have, do, be anything that you want in this world. World, And this isn't even um, an exaggeration. It's, it's very real or it's coming from a very authentic place, okay? Uh, but you know that you can't do it alone, right? So like, on the outside, it might look like you're doing all this stuff by yourself, right? But you know that there are so many moving parts that go into having something fulfilled for you, right? Or having a manifestation come into fruition. And I feel like you understand that and you just are asking and, and also are being advised to keep that fire lit under you, pile number ones, because the things that you want are coming into play. It's like divine timing now. You know what I mean? So don't almost like, I, I think it's a Bob Marley song. It might not be, don't worry, be happy. Like be as happy or fulfilled or on purpose as possible. Right? So at the bottom of the deck, we have the three of cups. I was instantly getting the advice for you all pile number ones is to let your hair down, so to speak, right? Have some fun, let the edge off, okay? And you might be wondering, well, what is fun to me, right? What is fun to me if, you know, I can't drink or do the things that I used to do that used to be fun to me, but that are no longer doing it. It's just not doing it. It's giving me anxiety. It's causing like these weird rifts or cognitive dissonance within me. I'm getting just... um you know, take your time to come up with the things that you now feel are fun and fulfilling and rewarding to you. That could be riding a bike around your city or your town. That could be going out for coffee or tea with a, a friend that you love to chat with. That could be, um, you know, doing something creative like painting. Shout out to OC uh, for, um, you know, kind of like also reminding me that painting is is really beautiful and it's very cathartic in a way right getting your creativity on paper that could be just a uh, creative writing when it comes to your journal journal entries that could be anything you know i feel like society has bogged us down so much with like oh yeah fun is only debauchery, right? Fun is only drinking in excess or doing things in excess. But what about fun being our creative liberties, right? That's like an internal thing. We're not internally uh, prepared for drinking alcohol all the time or for doing other things that are outside of us. But internally, we are, we do have those creative faculties that are with us all the time, right? So that's basically what I'm getting in regards to, you know, advice that can help you right now. Pile number ones is slow down whatever it is and, and take this with a grain of salt also, you know, really go into your minds, the depths of your mind and uh, think about ways in which you could, um, what's fun for you now that, or yeah, what's fun for you now that is that differs from what used to be fun for for you in the past if it's healthier right if it's healthier like i know as a kid or as like a teenager i used to love to like i used to love fashion magazines i did and i understood to a degree like 
okay, don't get caught up in like the airbrushed images, but it's funny because of the society we're living in now. Don't get caught up on that because comparison is the is the thief of joy, right? But like the fashion itself, the different prints, the textiles, the art that you could literally wear on your body. I used to love that. I used to want to do a lot of things in fashion. So, you know, get back to those childlike adventures because that's where your creativity and that's where your abundance is is really rooted in pile number ones but that was long let's begin your reading so uh in the you now heart of the matter position we have the four of cups so i feel like you could be taking some time out to yourself you know you could be feeling a little apathetic or very bored of everything that's around you right now you know you could be feeling like, okay, been there, done that. Like, this is just boring. You know what I mean? I'm really getting boredom, like humdrumness. Like, okay, I need something new. I want to feel inspired, right? So this is the advice I'm getting uh, from your angel ancestors and guides. Pile number one is to, you know, I feel like you're coming out of this kind of boredom rut, right? And you have to take also, um, what is it? You have to uphold your side of the bargain to, you know, be like, okay, ask spirit, ask God, ask your angels, ancestors, and guides. Okay, please give me something I can feel inspired about for the long term. And I will do my part to make sure that I have the energy, the strength, the fortitude to, to really exercise that uh, my imagination and, uh, bring into it my spiritness, right? My spiritedness, if that makes sense. So in, um, the challenge slash blockage situation, we have the will of fortune, which is almost like you could be feeling down on your luck pile. Number ones, you could be feeling like, why is something taking so long or something like that? as well. Um, but I'm also getting that something is coming in right in the nick of time. Okay. It's coming in and you may feel that, Oh, I, I wasn't as prepared as I would have wanted to be, but guess what? You got to do it anyway. It's almost like you're going to take the plunge anyway, so to speak. Right. Like all, all the things, all the different elements or the, you know, we have the bird here, air, we have the fish here, water, we have the gopher fear, gopher here that's underground, right? And then we have the fox here probably representing fire or something like that, right? So we have all the elements available, right? You just have to make, you have to uphold your end of the bargain pile number ones. So uh, feel good now, right? And sometimes it's good to lean into boredom because as long as we don't try to distract ourselves even more, that could really up our creativity, right? So in the conscious goals uh, position, we have the tower. I immense change. You know, I feel like you're having this reckoning. You're having this aha moment now. You want change. You want swift change and you want stark change in a good way, right? And I feel like more so you want it to come from within you because you are expanding, okay? With this three of wands here, you're expanding, you're growing. It's almost like you're growing so immensely. You're growing out of this castle. Maybe you're shaking everything up because you're growing so abundantly that you can no longer fit in your old blessings, right? You have to go in and, and, and um, maybe even change your environment or change something swiftly because you are really growing. You're really expanding right now, okay? So in the unknown influence position, we have the Ace of Cups, okay? So you might be feeling this or you might be feeling the urge or triggered about this growth and expansion because of there could be a new love interest coming in. You could already be with this love interest, okay? We are entering cuffing season, quote unquote, right? Right. So you might be feeling the urge to like change something up about something, whether it be your internal, your external, uh, 
because you want to fill yourself up, okay? You could also be feeling like tsunamis of emotion here, okay? Like large waves of emotion here. But I feel like they're being brought to you for a reason. And it's interesting, pile number one, because we have the Ace of Cups and the Ace of Swords right uh, on top of one another. And I feel like there's a lot of clarity here when it comes to like a love offer or something coming in when it comes to loving yourself more or having more emotional, uh, availability, right. And, 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 and clarity that comes with this emotional availability. So in the past influence position, we have the two of pentacles. So I feel like you are juggling a lot right now. You're juggling a lot. You're, you know, which is great, right? Pile number ones, because I feel like you've been asking for a lot of abundance. And that also comes with the work that has to be done to obtain this abundance, right? You know, you're in a co-creating, um, you're in a co-creating energy with spirit here so you know you uphold your end of the bargain and spirit will uphold its end of the bargain okay and i feel like you've been juggling a lot of your uh day-to-day -day things with your emotions as well okay but i feel like the advice here is like just take everything a step at a time in strides and have fun with it like have fun with it let your hair down don't be such a stick in the mud right don't be so four cups apathetic or anything like that if you can help it right so in the approaching influence we have the fool okay we have this fool here this full card here right and you can see like this this, I don't know what this is, a gopher or something? I have to look because <laughs> I'm always so confused when it comes to this full card a little. Okay, so I want to read a little bit of this full card because I have a feeling it has a deep message. It says, step forward into the unknown with full trust that the universe will show up to support you. It says, you stand on the edge of a great cliff suspended in time between yesterday and tomorrow. Senses far beyond sight, touch, hearing, taste, and smell assure you there is nothing to fear and nothing to mourn. Though the terrain beyond the cliff's edge is obscured, you know in the depth of your being that it is safe to step forward. A small dog smiles in agreement. This is a dog? <laughs> oh my gosh. I, it is like a Pomeranian. This is what, okay, now I can tell, right? But I think this is hilarious because I had no idea this was a dog. That's hilarious. But, um, oh my goodness. So look, it says, um... So this is the guidance, right? It says the gift of radical presence is offered to you now, accepted by seeking to be carefree, but not frivolous, trusting, but not naive by existing completely in the here and now without expectations of the future or attachment to the past. You can walk in harmony with the divine, loosen your grip, throw up. Uh, Throw out the map and focus on putting one foot in front of the other. You may be surprised by who and what appears to support and encourage you when you lift your gaze away from the blueprint you've so carefully created and allow the present to unfold naturally before you. And that's funny that the two of wands came out uh, as an extra card as well, pile number ones, because that's basically what that's signifying right with this full card in this two of wands like yes you've done the planning you've done the work you're on the right path just keep moving forward that's it okay so um yeah da, 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 and allow the present to unfold naturally before you enjoy the moment and stay open to all possibilities only by relinquishing control can you access the great power of the universe right so i feel like maybe you've been feeling a little apathetic because something that you once felt like you could control maybe you don't feel like you can anymore right and um it's really just trust falling into the unknown giving it to spirit giving it to god right so to speak. So with this full card and the approaching energy, there is new experiences coming in and just go with it. Have fun. Uh, you know, don't let your anxieties get the best of you. Uh, do things to work on your anxiety. So maybe if coffee gives you anxiety, I know I that's what I'm dealing with right now. It's trying to wean myself off of caffeine and try to implement more natural, um, 
you know, yeah, more natural aspects of like how to get vitality and energy through working out through supplements and things of that nature, just because I feel like my sensitivity is increasing because I've been drinking coffee forever. And now it's just, it's, it's working against me. It's no longer working for me. So yeah, long story short, there's a lot of newness coming into your life. And I feel like a uh, spirit is just wanting you to accept it and embrace it. Right. So in your inner resources and talent position, we have the seven of swords, ironically enough. So with this, I feel like you're just a master strategist, right? I feel like when it comes to the seven of swords, it talks about strategic strategizing or maybe maybe keeping certain aspects of your projects or the things that you're doing to yourself. So as you won't get bogged down by other people's opinions before something is done, right? Before something is has been said and done. Pile number um pile number ones, okay? So in uh, How Others See You, we have a three of wands. People see that you're growing. People see that you're expanding, right? People can tell that, uh, you know, the things that you're working on are definitely going to come into fruition. It's not the matter of if, but when. And people know that, people can sense that you're waiting on something to come in as well, right? So um, in um, the hopes and fears position, I feel like we, well, I don't feel like, but we have, this is one of my favorite cards. I don't know why, it's just so much power <laughs> in this card. But um, in the hopes and fears position, we have the ace of swords. So I feel like you hope for the utmost clarity. You hope for guidance and wisdom and insight, right? And you hope for victory. But I also feel as if... Um, you fear the power that lies ahead a little bit as well. And I, I don't, fear is a very strong word, right? But I feel like to whom much is given, much is required, especially mentally. So if you have all this clarity and all this mental prowess, I feel like you might fear that it could interfere with like your, maybe your love life or some type of um, emotional state that you maybe you value having right now, right? If if your mind is cracked open a little too much, maybe you'll see certain things that you haven't been wanting to face or something like that, right? That comes in as well, pile number ones, okay? And in the outcome position, we have the queen of pentacles, which is beautiful. Like I said, a lot of abundance coming into your life, a lot of prosperity, a lot of stability. And this has to do with things. This could be a double stream of income that you have been juggling that now is stabilizing or it's actually starting to crank up, is starting to help you in your life now, right? Like maybe you had to um, put a lot of time into it before you actually started to see the benefits that it was reaping, right? With the queen of pentacles here. And it's funny because there's this uh, river like behind this, uh, this crown. And so I'm getting like, this has a lot to do with emotions as well, like emotional stability um, and emotional stability towards others as well. Pile number ones. Okay. So again, the general advice that could help you right now is just there's a lot of beautiful opportunities coming your way. Have fun. Have as much fun as you can. You know what I mean? Uh, as much as you know how to do or um, really take into account the the that this is something that you have been wanting. OK, we also have. Card number three with fertility, we have the three of wands and we have the three of cups. So three, 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 your angels, ancestors, and guides are definitely here with you. And they're just encouraging you to have fun with your life. Have more fun with your life. Don't be a stick in the mud or be apathetic as much as you can. Be grateful for every single day that you wake up. And within doing that, it will give you more gratitude about your life and your experiences, right? So... Let's pull some more cards. Oh, yeah, we're going to do the Goddess Guidance Oracle. So let's pull some more cards to end your reading. Pile number ones. Thank you, God. Thank you, Spirit, for cleansing and blessing this deck, for giving pile number ones clear, concise, accurate messages to conclude their reading. Last words of advice, guidance, and wisdom. 
before our pile number ones to conclude their reading spirit. Clear, concise, accurate advice, guidance, and wisdom to conclude pile number one's reading. Advice, guidance, and wisdom <clears throat> to conclude our pile number one's reading. Okay, so I'm going to take these three cards that just popped out because they were facing the front. That's funny because this is the title card. So we have at the bottom of the deck, Dana, High Priestess. You have divine knowledge that can help others through your spiritual teachings, okay? So you might find fun or you might find enjoyment uh, maybe teaching others, maybe speaking, giving others counsel about what has helped you in the past as well. You might find joy in that. So we have the first card, Yam. Yemenya, Yemanya, okay, golden opportunity, beautiful. It says important doors are opening for you right now. Walk through them. Like I said, I told you there was a lot of abundance and look, golden opportunities that are coming in for you right now. Just walk through them, own the joint <laughs> pile number ones, okay? Own what it is, uh, the opportunities that are being given to you right now. So whatever you have to do to own them, um, start doing them start doing it right maybe that's meditation maybe that's working out or um getting more energy natural energy in your system you know working out or walking creates endorphins so that could just make you happier or more appreciative of the present moment right we have butterfly maiden with transformation it says transformation you are experiencing enormous change right now which brings great blessings again i said you all are being very blessed right now so i could understand i could totally understand um yeah i could just totally understand like okay the jitters right of getting everything that you've been asking for and more um but yeah, it's your time right now, pile number one. So just go for it. Okay, we have white Tara with sensitivity. It says you are becoming increasingly it's you are becoming increasingly sensitive. Avoid harsh. Wow, I wish I could read right now. You are becoming increasingly sensitive. Avoid harsh relationships, environments, situations, and chemicals. So, like I was suggesting, when it comes to old ways of like having fun, quote unquote, or societal ways of having fun. I feel like you're transforming through all that right now. Like it's just not going to cut it. It's just not doing it how it used to do for you, pile number uh, ones. And I feel like you're really transforming. You're becoming more sensitive because you're becoming more tapped into, you know, your subconscious mind. And I feel like your subconscious is kind of telling you, hey, free yourself of all this external stuff that used to do it for you that is no longer doing doing it for you. You might want to switch some stuff up because you're given a lot of uh, opportunity here right now that you might want to seize. Okay. So with that being said, pile number ones, I love you all so much. If you like this reading, if it resonated, please hit that thumbs up button, like, share, and subscribe, share this content with loved ones, family, and friends or anyone you think could benefit from this information also pile number ones if you're interested in a personal reading my um, email will be in the description box down below again it's a dialogue not a monologue so please uh, comment in the comment section let me know how you like this reading if it resonated uh, for you or you know whatever else you would like to leave in the comments okay i love you so much pile number ones and i'll see you in our next reading Bye. Hey, pile number twos, welcome back to your reading. So you all either chose uh, the pile number two selection card or this golden stone crystal. Um, so just a brief breakdown of the golden stone crystal. It is considered the crystal of ambition, right? And it symbolizes ingenuity, ambition, and drive. So you could be feeling yourself like wanting to be really driven or needing to be really driven, to be honest, as of right now, right? Um, you could be having a lot of um, doors opening up for you right now, a lot of opportunities, right? Um, and I feel like the advice that can help you right now is to do what you need to do to feel more driven to your call, because I have a feeling something could be coming 
up for you that you've been wanting and you also need to take the step to adhere to the call as well, okay? So let's reveal your pile selection card. We have card number three and it says rejoice in celebration. So something's coming in for you, pile number twos, that you have been wanting, that you have been working towards very long, okay? Very long and hard. And I feel like you are going to be able to rejoice in this celebration. And I feel like spirit is, is just reminding you right now, like, hey, kick it into overdrive because this might feel like work now, but eventually you're going to be able to you're going to be the one kicking back, relaxing, enjoying your free time or enjoying what all this work uh, brought forth, right? So this is beautiful. So, oh my goodness, uh, pile number ones, if you are interested in, I mean, pile number twos, if you're interested in pile number ones, I would go watch that reading because these readings, uh, pile number ones and pile number twos, I could see the correlation here. So you're ancestors guides they're all up and through this reading pile number two we have card number three rejoice in celebration we have the three of swords and then we have empress card number three so we have three 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 here already showing up in your reading so i could tell your spirit guides are here advocating for you okay so i digress pile number twos let's begin the reading so we have the empress at the bottom of the deck so i feel like there's a lot of creative opportunity here there's a lot of artistic opportunity here for you to express yourself okay and i feel like you could be feeling very beautiful or just very abundant very fertile right now okay but what is what i'm really honing into is creativity it's it's through your creativity that uh, a lot of what you are going to be celebrated uh, or what is going to be expressed uh, is going to be celebrated through you as this emperor, as this empress card suggests, uh, pile number twos. Okay. So Venus rules. Um, yeah. The planet that's connected with the empress card is Venus. So you could be feeling very, a lot of things involving love, very um, in like this lovey-dovey state or very uh, focused on love, right? Whatever that means to you. That could be inner love, that could be outer love, you know, you name it. But I have a feeling this has a lot to do with your creative expression as well. You could have a lot of ideas just flowing through you right now as well, pile number twos okay so let's hop into your reading so i'm gonna do the celtic cross layout and incorporate some freestyle if it's called for okay so in the you now heart of the matter position we have the death card with uh, uh scorpio here okay so you could be a scorpio you could be dealing with the scorpio there could be like some pluto energy around you right now but what I'm feeling or what I'm getting, pile number one, is there's a lot of transformation happening to you right now. Maybe where the the soil wasn't fertile, right? It, it couldn't produce growth. Now you're transforming into something that is growing exponentially, right? There's definitely this metamorphosis happening with you right now. And it's almost like it's happening meticulously, right? With this Knight of Pentacles, very s slow and steady growth, okay? Uh, and a very maybe slow and steady transformation. And maybe that's something that you have been needing for a while because maybe you've been trying to like speed up or rush the process, okay? So in the challenge slash blockage position, we have the Page of Cups. So your your intuition might be blocked a little bit right now because with the page of cups is all about like intuitive hits it's all about using your intuition it's it it's really like one of uh the most psychic cards in the tarot deck right i feel like maybe your emotions could be swirling around and around and around and you're trying to catch up with them, pile number twos, okay? This could be in regards to a love interest. Maybe uh, you are kind of like carrying this person's energy and they could be carrying yours, okay? Or telepathy could be at play here when it comes to a lover or a soulmate connection. So it doesn't have to be like a romantic connection, but just someone you are kind of like 
really connected to on a soul level, like a soul family member or something like that. Um, yeah, but I have a feeling that with the page of cups being in the blocked slash challenge position, you want to follow your intuition about something, but you might not know if it's the right direction to go to. And this could be talking about communication. So with the pages in the tarot, communication, um, excuse me, the pages in the tarot, when it speaks of communication, oh my goodness. So when it comes to the pages of the tarot, it talks about communication, right? So when you see a page, it could it's like a messenger card, excuse me, jeez. So you could be hearing from like a Gemini soon, or you could be hearing from like a soulmate um, that's maybe bringing in some news, right? And that could even be t telepathically as well. In the conscious goal position, we have the three of swords. So I'm getting what the conscious goal is. It isn't that you want heartbreak. I feel like you want to uh, have a lighter heart, right? You want to have a lighter heart. You don't want to be stressed. You want to, you know, get to the heart of the matter of if something is like boggling your mind about a connection or maybe uh having you have a heavy heart you want to be happy right especially with the ten of cups being at the bottom of that three of swords right you don't want to feel like there's this like you don't want to feel like burdened with a heavy heart or that you're just sad all the time or you're disappointed or you're heartbroken you want some um, to pr bring levity into the situation here. Now, this could be in regards to an X, okay? Because we do have the death card, we have the lover's card, and we have the three of swords. So this could be in regards to an X or someone you have dealt with in the past. This could be in regards to a soulmate connection that is you're no longer really in their lives, right? And vice versa, So I'm getting the advice here, pile number twos, is to just take things a step at a time. Someone could really also need help, you know what I mean? Need some advice or encouragement or just like a shoulder to cry on because their heart is really heavy. And they don't see this like end in sight. Like even with all the cup cards here, I'm just seeing this whirlwind. Like, can y'all see that? It's just like these whirlwind of emotion. So uh, someone could be in a spiral as well. This could be a friend. Okay, so in the unconscious, I mean, in the unknown influence position, we have the two of cups. So whatever it is that you're going through, if you're having a heavy heart, okay, or if you're maybe experiencing a little anxiety now. And it's funny because I'm using anxiety with the three of swords because usually that's the eight of swords or the nine of swords. But you could be experiencing a heavy heart because you're going through like some type of anxiety. Take it if it resonates, pile number uh, twos. If it doesn't fit, if you're not anxious or anything, please don't force that message. But with the two of cups being in the unknown influence position, this could be someone in your life that's causing this like a partner maybe a a, a romantic partner business partner a, a close family member right this could be someone in your life maybe that that came in that's like new because the fool is at the bottom here in the past position we have the six of pentacles so this talks about even giving giving an exchange so what I'm also getting is a law of correspondence, right? Which also pertains to balance, justice, right? You know, because in the traditional Rider Waite tarot, the Six of Pentacles is holding a scale to make sure that they're giving balanced, right? They're not um, lopsided with what they're giving or what they're receiving, right? So in the past position, I feel like you could have felt like very even around this person or like you were giving what you were getting and vice versa. And then we have in the approaching 
influence position or the approaching position, we have the Knight of Pentacles. So maybe someone from your past is coming in slowly, okay? Yeah, maybe they feel like in the past, like something was, wasn't was even, something wasn't evenly distributed in a relationship or in a connection. And maybe they're coming in slowly but surely, or they're taking their time to come in, right? After this fallout or something. That's so interesting. Pile number um, twos. Maybe they're coming to celebrate or show you some stuff that they've been working on and like, yeah. Very interesting. Okay, so in your inner ref in your inner resources and talents position, we have the lovers. So I feel like you make the right decisions and you are very loving, okay? You could be really good at communicating as well, especially with the lovers being Gemini. But I feel like you you're very discerning, pile number twos. You're able to discern through your intuition is what I'm getting with the um, page of cups on top of the lovers. Now, how others see you, we have the 10 of the ten of cups. People see you as happy. People see you as having your emotional, how can I put this? Having your emotional needs met, maybe, you know, having your emotional needs met, not feeling so weighed down or broken hearted all the time. Some of you all could be Pisces as well, because I think the Ten of Cups represents Pisces. So people see you as having an emotionally balanced life or having everything that you need emotional, emotionally there for you, emotionally fulfilled, right? With your hopes and fears, we have the fool. So I feel like you could be hoping for a new beginning when it comes to like a connection in your life, but you also could be fearing it simultaneously because you don't want it to play out the same as it did before, okay? And that could be with a new person, that could be with the person that, that could be coming back around, you name it, but you just want growth. You want the growth in a relationship, you don't want it to be the same old, same old thing, right? And in the in the outcome position, we have the five of cups, which is interesting. So I feel like, okay, so here's some advice, pile number uh, twos, and this is interesting, right? Someone could want to come into your life and make up, right? Kiss and make up, so to speak. But with the cards here, and you know, on this channel, we're all about positivity. We are. But also rooted in practicality and in, you know, the also rooted in practicality, right? So when this Five of Cups is here being in the outcome position, and then we have the Six of Pentacles on top of it, what I'm getting is that really take your time, right? With this Knight of Pentacles here as well. Take your time. Do not rush into anything when it comes to uh, maybe reconciliation as well, because you have to like almost vet the person and make sure that they have really changed. You have to allow them to show and prove, right? Not just words, right? Not just, right? Uh, a good talk as the lovers can be with Gemini because Gemini, they talk and they're, they're good, right? Conversations rule a nation. So they could, they could really, Ooh, have you feeling inspired and have you feeling like, yes, I've changed. I've did A, B, C, and D and then completely not mean any of it, <laughs> you know? And, um, so, or having this dualistic personality, right? So before you, you know, just welcome this person in with open arms, really take some time to, um, to yourself so you won't end up being disappointed, okay, is what I'm getting. I don't even think this is really set in stone because it's interesting. We have the death, the lovers, and the fool. So there's obviously someone coming back or there's this new beginning maybe in a love relationship or maybe just in a soulmate connection right there's this new beginning it's interesting because we have the death card and then we have a fool here so it's almost like this person 
could have tra transformed. They may or they may not. But you don't want, I feel like you have so much on your plate right now or the potential of so much on your plate right now. And you're in this creative energy. You're in this like outpouring energy of like abundance overall that you really need to be conscientious and give yourself time to discern whether it's worth having this person back in your life or the situation this might not even be a person person place or thing back into your life because it could be talking a good game but it might not be what meets it might not be everything that meets the eye so to speak right especially with that six of pentacles and being in the past in the five of cups being in the outcome i feel like you just are weighing the time, the commitment, the resources that you're giving to people now, just because you could be really having to hone in and focus in on, on your own scheduling, on your own day-to-day -day life, just because there's so much coming in all at once, okay? So let's... Uh -oh. One second. Let's pull some cards to conclude your reading. Pile number twos. Thank you, God. Thank you, Spirit, for cleansing and blessing this deck. Thank you, God. Thank you, Spirit, for cleansing and blessing this deck, for giving clear, concise, accurate messages to our pile number twos. Advice, guidance, and wisdom for our pile number twos. To conclude their reading. More advice, guidance, and wisdom for our pile number twos to conclude their reading. Advice, guidance, and wisdom for our pile number twos to conclude their reading spirit. Okay, so we have two cards so far. We have a Arakira with Blossoming. It says, you are just getting started, so have patience with yourself in the process and do not give up. Exactly. You're just getting started, pile number two. So I feel like whatever is coming back full circle, because that's kind of what I'm getting. Something's coming back full circle. Don't rush this. Do not rush this because... You, mar you might be ca causing yourself more harm than good if you're trying to rush something. Something needs to be healed, okay, with this Three of Swords in the uh, conscious goal position. I feel like you know that. Something needs to be healed. And it might be beyond your scope of healing, right? So we have Mother Mary. Expect a miracle. It says, have faith that your prayers have been heard and are being answered, Okay. So maybe pray for this person, really put this person in your heart, mind, and spirit and like radiate uh, their prayers also being answered. But really, I feel like you might have to focus, uh, double down on focusing right now. Look at this. We have Dana High Priestess. You have the divine knowledge that can help others through your spiritual teachings, okay? So you might be a high priestess or a priest. Uh, a high priestess or a high priest, and I feel like you are able to really discern information right now, pile number two. So definitely take your time. Take your time is what I'm getting. Take your time. Pray. Meditate. Okay? Yeah. Because you, you know something. And look, it's interesting because there's the throat chakra being kind of highlighted in this card. And then there's a crown chakra being highlighted in this card. So what I'm getting pile number twos is that you're really tapped in. I feel like you are able to really make change through the vocalization or through your communication. Right. Uh, but people have to be receptive to the change. Right. So also be conscientious of how you are coming across in conversations as well, just because you never know what a person could be going through. Uh, and be gentle with yourself and be gentle with others right now is what I'm getting also. Prayer 
is going to really help you because I feel like there's this adjustment you're going through. You are really expanding and you're really blossoming. So, you know, just be gentle with yourself right now because there could be a lot of change in the air that you're just... You can't even really put your finger on what's happening, but you know that something important is kind of, is is going on right now in the in the atmosphere, so to speak. Okay, so again, pile number twos. I love you so much, my dreamy dreamers. If you like this reading, if it resonated, please hit that thumbs up button, like, share, and subscribe. Share this content with loved ones, family, friends, or anyone who would best benefit from the messages provided here today. Again, I love you so much, dreamy dreamers, and I'll see you in our next reading. Bye. Hey, pile number threes, welcome back to your reading. So you all chose this Rose Quartz Crystal as your pile selection card. So the Rose Quartz is all about self-love, love of others, just receiving and giving unconditional love. Okay, that could be to your partner, your friends, your family, you name it, right? So you might be wanting or be kind of like yearning for some type of unconditional love and support, whether it's giving it to yourself or being able to provide it to others, right? Or even wanting others to give that to you right now, okay? So let's put this right here and let's reveal your pile selection card. We have the card number five that says conflict and defeat. I believe this could be the five of swords, but this might also be the five of wands too. So in relation to advice that can help you right now, I feel like with conflict and defeat, I just feel like keep running your race, right? Don't look back to see how far or, you know, what the other people are doing or your competitors, right? Or whatever it is that you're trying to achieve. Don't look backwards, just look forward, right? You see this person running their race, like it's almost like a relay race and they're running, <clears throat> they're running a race that others have ran before them, right? So what that's really saying is your own, your competition is the person in the mirror, right? These are inanimate objects. These are, these aren't even actual people. They're people who have been, uh, written in history, right? So to speak, cause they're like hieroglyphics on this wall. So I feel like, um, the race that you're running is a race against yourself. So know that, right? And if you feel defeat or if you've been feeling like a defeatist attitude, keep reminding yourself that, right? The only stable thing in life is change and that uh, it's really, there is no competition on the spiritual plane. There really isn't. And once we get that through our heads, once we really understand that fundamental principle in life, right, that the world is... Um, a reflection of our internal state. It really is. <clears throat> and I know that's a little hard to grasp at times, even for myself, but I know a lot of the times the things that I'm thinking tend to happen. You know what I'm saying? On the 3D, it's actually startling. But uh, I know that uh, the world is really a reflection of my thoughts, words, and deeds, right? So I try to work on being the best possible version of myself so I can see that radiated back into society and back into my reality, right? So yeah, pile number threes, let's hop right into your reading. We have at the bottom of the deck, the high priestess. And I feel like you also understand this truth. You understand it fundamentally, right? Uh, and I feel like you're going up levels of spiritual knowledge, right? Uh, with the high priestess um, and the, the moon, with the moon um, governing this high priestess card or the high priestess governing the moon, this means like, you know, there could be secrets kind of lying underneath the surface as well that you're picking up on uh, energetically, but you don't know for sure, right? So you just kind of like, okay, like, you know, I'm having these emotions or these kind of insights kind of wash through me or wash over me, but I, I need to know that I'm certain, right? But I feel like so certain things are left to be explored, right? And I feel like your subconscious mind is just picking up on a lot right now. Pile number threes, okay? This could be due to these moon cycles or uh, something happening astrologically as well. So let's hop into your reading. We're gonna do the Celtic cross layout. 
and then proceed from there. So we have in the you now heart of the matter. Oh, wow. This is interesting too. <laughs> pile number um, three. So we have in the you now heart of the matter position, we have the world and look at, I think this is Saturn. If I'm not mistaken, I could be wrong. I don't know what, what, um, element or yeah, I don't know what that is, but it looks like the number five and look, we have five and five here. So again, there's a lot of changes going on. I feel like in your internal world and your external world, and there's definitely a lot of change, right? And I feel like it's good change. It's success. It's abundance. It's the things that you've been asking for. So I think with the world here with Saturn energy, if I'm not mistaken, I don't know what element that is. But uh, with the Wheel of Fortune here, we have the Jupiter symbol. Um, and I feel like, you know, success is yours, right? Success is for the taking and, you know, your, 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 your luck is turning, your blessings are turning, right? Upwardly, you know, for the good and the betterment of everyone, right? I just feel like you might not be seeing it off bat right now, right? In the challenge slash, um, yeah, in the challenge position, we have the Ten of Pentacles. So I feel like you're seeing this success. The success is coming to life. You're seeing this completion. You're seeing this integration of who you are and who you're becoming, right? But I feel like maybe you haven't been rewarded or compensate, compensated for it just yet. Or there could be things about the long term, right? The long haul that, uh, you know, could be challenging that worldview or that point of view that you have uh, within you right now. In the conscious goal position, we have the Ace of Swords. So I feel like you want this clarity. You want this victory of mind. You want to feel like, you know, just clear, concise, and to the point. And uh, I feel like that is coming in for you, especially with the Six of Swords being at the bottom of this Ace of Swords. Your mind is definitely being cleared. You're definitely being put on the uh, the right um almost like the back on the right mindset. Maybe you've deviated or felt that you have deviated from this, right? In the past. So in the unknown influence position, we have the King of Cups, right? So the King of Cups here um, is suggesting that I feel like you play your cards right, pile number threes. And when I say you play your cards right, I feel like even during trials and tribulations you still keep a good face and a good front about you okay because that's what the king of cups is all about it's about mastery of your emotions and i feel like you have expanded enough to master your emotions even if even in the um even in um the confrontation of difficulty right or seeming defeat or conflict when conflict arises i feel like you've expanded enough to you know show a good face even when maybe internally you're going through the gamut of emotions okay so in the past position we have the tower so i feel like um there was something that like it gave you a profound sense of clarity or kind of like rocked your top or something like that it like rocked you you know mentality wise it it presented something to you that maybe uh gave you some insight that you weren't actually as stable as you thought you were uh pile number threes right like you are but you still have some work to do right you still need to build that foundation of uh stability and whatever else that comes to mind when you see this card and you see like, hey, maybe something wasn't as firmly rooted within me as I thought I was because when this thing happened, I was able to keep my composure, but like it still affected me in some way, shape or form, right? And I feel like you're getting to the bottom of this. So it's interesting too, right? Pile number threes, because we have Three major arcanas, four if you count the, the bottom of the deck. We have the world, the will of fortune, and the tower, and the high priestess. So to me, this is a very good change, but I feel like 
it could the things that we ask for when we get them, they could be a little jarring. So we have to make sure that we're on top of our P's and Q's, so to speak. Right. And I feel like that's where you're at right now. You're realizing like, Hey, with this tower and this four of pentacles, okay, beautiful. All these things that I've been asking for are coming in, but guess what? This is maybe testing my resolve in regards to my, um, my material stability. Right. Am I that stable if I can't meet these opportunities when they come in, right? You know, maybe this is requiring a savings of however much money, right? So like maybe when if you get an opportunity to go somewhere that could help you or impact you in a positive way that you're able to go, you're able to, you know, have enough uh, resources financially to adhere to the call and, and when it's when it's being offered to you, right? So in the approaching influence, we have the will of fortune. So I feel like there's a lot of abundance coming in for you, pile number threes, things that you've been asking for, been working for. Uh, and I feel like you just want to make it successful. You want to do right by it, right? Uh, in the inner talent and resources position, we have the page of pentacles. So there could be good news coming in regards of like money or finances or something like that. But I also get in your inner resources and talent position that you are able to start all over again, to learn something all over again, to be the student, right? To really absorb a lot of knowledge in regards to the things that you want, to be an apprentice again, to just learn from the bottom up, right? So if something wasn't working here with the tower, you're able to just let it go and then start from scratch. Like, okay, that didn't work. Now let's start over so I can build this, right? This ten of pentacles, so to speak. In the How Others See You, we have the Six of Swords. People see that your mind is, uh, you're swift within your mind in regards to like, uh, almost like reprogramming it, right? You're, you maybe lead others to calmer waters in their mind or a calmer state of, of peace or tranquility. Or maybe when you are shaken up a little bit, you're able to maneuver through murky waters and be brought back into peace, right? Balance with the six of swords here. Your spirit guides could be with you right now too. They could see you being led to something higher minded, okay? In uh, the hopes and fears position, we have the three of wands. So I feel like you want to expand, you want to experience change, you want to experience this expansive new way of living or thinking, but I feel like you're also kind of maybe getting even a little impatient. Like, well, when are my ships coming in? I've been hoping, wishing, praying, asking for this, that, and the third, but for some reason, it's just like it, it can... It, it, uh, constantly eludes me, right? It's almost like with the, the King of Cups here, the King of Cups is in the middle of the ocean on a slab of concrete, almost like waiting to be saved, right? Waiting for that ship to come in and save them. Uh, but they're trying to act calm, cool, and collected. So I feel like there could, on the flip side, you hope to expand, to really grow, in your newfound being, right? But you also feel as if like, um, how long do I have to wait for this to happen? Like, I feel like it's like a waiting game or like you're, there could be some fears of, um, there could be some fears of impatience here, okay? And in the outcome position, we have the four of pentacles. So I feel like you're holding on. You're really holding on to the things that you have. You know, you're really stable. You're trying to balance. Uh, you could be really trying to balance your finances because you can kind of feel that something is coming up, right? It's maybe this opportunity, maybe this change, but something that's going to shift everything is coming up. So you have to really make sure that you are holding in on there. You're just holding on is what I'm getting right to your, the foundation that you have been setting. Cause the four of pentacles is very foundational too. And the tower talks about a shaky foundation that's being uprooted because it wasn't built on a stable one, right? It's, it's, it was built on a shaky foundation. So I'm, what I'm getting for you, pile number three is you are, uh, 
being advised to really stabilize your foundation right now, to make that foundation so sturdy that nothing can uh, topple it over, right? Nothing can can uh, get between you and this freaking amazing foundation or this system that you have set into place, okay? So let's pull some more cards to conclude your reading. Thank you, God. Thank you, Spirit, for cleansing and blessing this deck. Giving pile number three is clear, concise, accurate messages. Advice, guidance, and wisdom to conclude their reading, Spirit. Advice, guidance, and wisdom to conclude pile number three's reading. Clear, concise, accurate messages, advice, guidance, and wisdom to conclude our pile number three's reading. Clear, concise, okay. okay. Two, one more card, Spirit. One more card. Advice, guidance, and wisdom. Thank you. So let's put these in order. So we have Ichel, Medicine Woman. You are a channel for divine healing power, okay? So we have Solace, Bodies of Water. Spend time near water such as a lake, river, or ocean to recharge your batteries. So to me, I have a feeling that a lot of your energy is being put out, but you need to sustain some of that energy with Ichel, Medicine Woman, and Solace, Bodies of Water. You see how that contrasts a lot of energy. There's a lot of thunder and lightning. So a lot of power is being put back, put out into the atmosphere right now when it pertains to you, pile number threes, but you need to replenish that energy that you're putting out. That could be through um, taking a salt bath, uh, through, you know, grounding yourself on the earth's uh surface right uh and 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 if you're not allergic in uh nature somewhere you know just grounding yourself and then we have unog easy does it so it says there's no need to hurry or force things to happen everything is occurring in perfect timing so again you might have felt like this need to go at like this exponential rate, right? Experience this exponential growth, but what's actually happening to you is happening for you by giving you like just taking these baby steps towards your overarching goals. So don't rush the process, pile number threes, really is what I'm getting because everything is coming for you and to you in, in divine timing and in perfect timing is just taking things day by day, right? Be easy on yourself. Don't be too hard on yourself. And then we have white Tara with sensitivity at the bottom of the deck. It says you're becoming increasingly sensitive. Avoid harsh relationships, environment, situations, and chemicals. So again, pile number three, is this is the second time this card has came out. So I'm getting like, maybe it's time to switch up some things. Maybe some things that are rooted in your foundation, they just no longer work, right? That could be ex that could be drinking, that could be caffeine, you name it. You know, you'll know. Uh you'll know, you know, personally what affects you and what doesn't. But this could be a time to like purge or to cleanse yourself, is what I'm getting. Maybe fasting. For those who know what they're doing, or for those who like have went to a doctor and they say fasting's okay for them definitely don't take my word for it or advice but like you know do your own research you know ask a you know a physician or something if that's healthy for you but you know fasting could be really good or really uh drinking a lot more water could be really good on a daily basis just to kind of like ground our energy right so with that being said pile number three is i love you so much my dreamy dreamers if you like this reading if it resonated please hit that thumbs up button like share and subscribe share this content with loved ones family friends or anyone who will best benefit from the messages provided here today again my dreamy dreamers i love you so much and until next time i'll see you in our next reading bye